In the main event of WrestleMania 39, Cody Rhodes came out on the losing end of an undisputed WWE Universal Championship challenge against Roman Reigns, in a result which not only shocked many fans, but left a lot of people completely dejected and disappointed. The fear now is that Reigns' title run will go on for too long, and that by the time someone takes the belts from him, it won't be as good of a moment as a potential Rhodes victory at WrestleMania would have been. The question now is whether WWE can uphold Rhodes' momentum and commit to booking him as the man to defeat the Tribal Chief. In the lead-up to WrestleMania 39, Cody Rhodes was red-hot in terms of fan reaction and momentum. Whilst he had only been back from injury for a short time, fans were still ready to see him win. The storyline was handled wonderfully, and the match itself was emotional, hard-hitting, and jam-packed full of great psychology, all leading up to what looked to be an all-timer final sequence with Rhodes hitting his finisher. Unfortunately, a cheap distraction and interference finish led to Reigns picking up the win, sucking the air out of the stadium. This was a case of some fans losing faith in WWE's creative, and this scenario can make it so much harder getting them invested in the storylines to come. When looking at the future of this story, WrestleVote said to, I can say this, the rematch that's at the forefront of everybody's minds, Cody vs. Roman, is very much on the table to main event Philadelphia next year. If it is indeed the plan for WWE to have a rematch between these two men at WrestleMania 40, then WWE will have a very hard job in ensuring that the crowd's response is as strong as it was this year. There is a very high chance that the boat has been missed, and for the next 11 months or so, it should be at the top of WWE's priority list to make sure that they don't ruin Cody Rhodes. After losing to Reigns, Rhodes was laid out and attacked by Brock Lesnar on the Raw after WrestleMania setting up a match for Backlash where Cody won. Despite Cody's victory, WWE is still continuing his feud with Brock, as he is set to take on the Beast at Night of Champions this Saturday. While a loss to Lesnar would pile another setback on Rhodes to overcome, with him likely to then defeat Lesnar in an another rematch down the line to end their feud and climb up the card. But both these directions have positives and negatives, as too many losses could make him look weak and not good enough to be a top guy whereas too many wins could have the undesired effect of making him appear like Super Cena, which is much of where his time in AEW went wrong. It is all about what comes next for Rhodes, as every feud and match will be important in his presentation as a top babyface. Even though WWE's track record in recent years when booking babyfaces has been questionable. For instance, the likes of Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre were both hot babyface world champions in recent years. But after a while, fans began to grow tired of their characters, which is all down to poor booking. And the same could very well happen with Rhodes.